Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brian Brindley, and this is the BB Brindley Podcast, or the Brian Brindley Podcast, whatever you really want to call it. Uh, pretty sure nobody's listening to it anyway, but this is just to kind of get me more comfortable with podcasting formats. So, yeah, uh, we're going to do what we did week one. Sorry I took last week off. Um, I was kind of busy and it just slipped my mind I actually recorded my picks and the audio just got totally corrupted and I had no time after that and I woke up the next morning after it had processed and everything and it was like oh your audio sounds terrible so didn't end up hearing that one uh but we'll move on to week three uh, tonight's game uh LA Rams against San Francisco 49ers um the Rams looked really good week one didn't look so hot last week San Francisco, um, their defense looked good against Seattle last week, but that's a Seattle offense that is garbage, garbage to the highest degree. So I'm going to go with the LA Rams, despite them being on the road, San Francisco being at home. Um, I think the Rams are better suited. I think the Rams have better weapons on defense. I think that they're more suited for the game as well. Um, I think the Rams have a lot of potential. And I think they're going to be good in the coming years. And I know the 49ers are going to be good because they're rebuilding uh, around Shanahan. Once they get a quarterback, I think that they will be back to um, a competitive level. But for this game, I'm going to go with the L.A. Rams. Uh, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Uh, first game listed on my list here is Baltimore against Jacksonville. Um Jacksonville lost to Tennessee last week at home, playing at home again this week. Uh, but Baltimore, uh, that defense looks killer right now. Um, looks really good. Um, they may not, you know, they may not be like Denver's defense, but they're definitely impressing me for sure. Uh, Joe Flacco seems to be playing well, despite the fact that he's Joe Flacco and he's just like I've always felt like he's just like a mediocre quarterback. But you know, whatever works out for them. You got, you know, you got the Ravens that are a pretty decent team, it looks like. Looks like they're at least going to give the Steelers some sort of headache when it comes to the AFC North run. So I'm going to go with Baltimore, and I'm pretty confident in that pick because although I like some of what Jacksonville's doing, I am I think that Baltimore is the better suited team right now. Denver against Buffalo. Not going to bore you guys with the details. Denver looked fantastic against Dallas last week. That defense looks damn good. Uh, I'm going with Denver, and that's probably my lock for this week, Denver. Actually, no. Well, it's one of my locks. I can give you, like, two locks. Next is uh, New Orleans at Carolina. I'm going with Carolina. New Orleans seems dysfunctional. That defense is god-awful. Um, I fear internal strife with Adrian Peterson. Sean Payton will affect New Orleans as well, but... Um, and I think Carolina is just suited to win. So I'm going to go with Carolina. I'm pretty confident in that pick as well. I'm pretty confident in these first four Sunday games because they all seem to be pretty obvious choices. Uh, and speaking of the first four, the last of those first four Sunday games listed on here is Pittsburgh at Chicago. Pittsburgh will win that game. Chicago is not good, obviously. It's not really any insight there for me, but... Yeah, Pittsburgh's going to win that game. Um, Mike Glennon's actually not playing awful. Like, from what I've seen, stat-wise, like, he completes the ball. He's just, he's not putting anybody over, he's not putting himself over teams. And, like, that's pretty obvious because it's Mike Glennon. But Pittsburgh's going to win that game. That is, like, my highest lock for the week. I'm really down on Chicago. Um, feel bad for him. But, you know, when you're bad, you're bad. But you'll get a draft pick. And then maybe it'll turn the team around. They have Trubisky. They're trying to develop him. They'll probably get another great pick this year. And we'll go from there. Uh, next game is Atlanta at Detroit. Uh, a lot of people are going to pick Atlanta. A lot of people are high on Atlanta. And I am not. But I'm going to tell you what. After watching how they played against Green Bay, I am less confident in my assumption at the beginning of the year that they were going to fall off and they were going to have a Super Bowl hangover. Um... They seem definitely, like, poised to make another run after week two. So, like, don't get, you know, don't get super excited. But um, this is, like, my week, my test week for them. If they do well this week against Detroit, 
then I will believe the hype. Maybe. I'm not sure. I go back on my words sometimes. But um, I'm going to pick Detroit. Detroit's at home. I like Matt Stafford a lot. Matt Stafford over Matt Ryan any day of the week. And I don't know. I'm just I'm feeling how Detroit is rocking this year. Matthew Stafford seems super poised and super comfortable while he's playing. Even when he's down, he always finds a way to come back. Uh, good good win last week against Arizona for Detroit, and I think that Matthew Stafford will be able to pull off. I, I assume that Atlanta is the favorite, so the upset against Atlanta. So yeah, Detroit's gonna be my pick there. Cleveland to Indian, Indianapolis. Ooh-wee. It's the toilet bowl, ladies and gentlemen. You can keep your Super Bowl. I got the toilet bowl. Yeah. So Cleveland uh, at Indianapolis. Uh, taking Cleveland. Go Browns. <laughs> I'm taking Cleveland. Um, mostly just because Indianapolis looks like an apple, absolute blah, 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 absolute train wreck. And I think that Cleveland has a higher trajectory than Indianapolis, especially with no word on Andrew Luck even practicing yet. Uh, so I'm going to go with Cleveland. <laughs> Just because I like when I can pick Cleveland and actually have any sort of like chance. So I'm going to go with Cleveland in that game. Just for the sheer, I guess, prospect that I can say, I told you. I told you Cleveland was going to win. I told you guys Cleveland was going to win. I told you. Hey, maybe they'll get to one win faster than they did last year. That's for sure. Uh, next game up, Tampa Bay at Minnesota. I've picked Tampa Bay, I think, all, both of the first two weeks. And I'm picking them again week three. I feel it in my gut that Tampa Bay is a good team. They just need to find their rhythm. I'm not a huge Jameis Winston fan, and I know that it starts with the quarterback, but he is a decent quarterback, I think, and he can be a leader. I like the receiving core. I'm just, I'm feeling Tampa Bay. I'm feeling Tampa Bay think they can do great things i just think they need to put it all together they got the pieces they just got to find out how they work together consistently i'm going with them over minnesota despite minnesota you know you know they beat uh new orleans week one uh i can't remember who they played last week who did they play last week hmm i'm gonna look that up really quick who did they play last week hmm (laughs) hmm hmm Minnesota Vikings last game the Spanish keyboard on my phone is just makes things a little difficult sometimes oh yeah that's right they played the Steelers they lost yeah you know Steelers are a good team I'm not going to blame them for that loss and they beat New Orleans and that's a bad team so I can't give them much props for that win. So I can't really give them a lot of credit for their win. I can't give them a lot of blame for their loss. Um, but either way, I'm I'm high on Tampa Bay. I think that they have potential. I'm going to go with Tampa Bay in that game. Houston at New England. Um, Houston's got a good defense. Well, they have good defensive players, at least. Um, not the great offensive line. Good receiving targets for Deshaun Watson, but... I'm not going to pick Deshaun Watson over Tom Brady. Tom Brady's going to win that game. It's their game at home. It's their first game at home since that week one loss. Embarrassment to Kansas City. So I'm going to go with New England in that game. Um, What's next? Miami at the New York Jets. Jets are awful. People keep telling me that the Jets are better than I think they are. And maybe they are because I honestly haven't sat down and watched them. There's just so many games to watch, you know, since I got that Sunday ticket. But... I'm just going to go with Miami because I think Miami is... I mean, listen, it's Jay Cutler. I know. I know. It's Jay Cutler. But I'm still going with them. I'm still going with Miami over the Jets just because I think the Jets are garbage fire. And I think that they know it. And I think we all know it. But everybody wants to kind of be like, hey, the Jets aren't that bad. Hey, they're not that bad. But I'm going to say, yeah, they are. Yes. Got creamed by the Raiders last week. Creamed. Um, New York Giants at Philadelphia. Go with Philadelphia. Giants. I thought the Giants were going to be so much better this year, man. Thought they were going to be like a contender. 
And again, it's week two, but sorry, week three. It was it's only been two weeks. But I don't know. I'm gonna go with Philly in that game. Just because I like how Philadelphia looks as opposed to the Giants, who Eli looks like he's aging like milk, and uh, OBJ's uh, that like in slant route that he like killed people with. Uh, it looks like that ankle is affecting that, and since Brandon Marshall seems to not really want to play football, uh, I'm going to go with Philadelphia. Seattle at Tennessee. I know Seattle's defense is stellar. It's great. Um, they got, they obviously they have Earl Thomas, Cam Chancellor, Bobby Wagner, KJ Wright. Richard Sherman, Sheldon Richardson, Michael Bennett, like the list goes on and on. They have a, they have a stellar defense. That offense looks so bad. It looks so bad. Like when I was watching them play the 49ers last week, it was so it was like pitiful. It wasn't even like making me angry that they couldn't advance the ball. It was just like sad against the 49ers. First week, I was like, all right, it's the Packers. Like, they don't have this great defense, but, like, it's not, like, worse. It's not, like, terrible. And maybe the 49ers don't have a terrible defense either, but it's the 49ers. Like, they're obviously not going to win the NFC West or come close to that this year. So, I'm torn. And then Tennessee, I like how Mariota's is maturing as he gets older. Um, Derrick Henry seems to be doing well this year as they're running back. Um, still don't like their receiving core. I think they're slow, but you know I have a a weird gut feeling that Tennessee's gonna win that game at home. I because th- uh, Seattle's also bad on the road. We gotta remember that. Have been forever. Um, yeah, that's my upset pick of the week. I guess Tennessee over Seattle. I guess I would say. Actually, Detroit's probably the upset pick of the week, but uh, that's another upset pick. I'm going to pick Tennessee over Seattle. I'm not confident in that pick. That's like if I had to rank my picks from like 16 being confident and one being like not confident at all, I'm going to go with that one as my one. <laughs> Cincinnati, Green Bay. Green Bay's going to win that game. They're in Lambeau. Despite la- they're going to be mad about that la- loss last week against Aaron, uh, Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons, Aaron Rodgers is going to go off He's at home. Cincinnati has yet to score a touchdown this season. Uh, Andy Dalton, let me put it this way. If you had to pin all of your money that you have, every single like dollar, every single cent that you have on a quarterback, and your choices are Andy Dalton and Aaron Rodgers, who are you going to pick today? I rest my case. Um, Kansas City at the LA Chargers. Kansas City, I'm going to pick. Kansas City looks good. Um, yeah, they look really good. And I'm confident in Kansas City. God, that, what's his name? Is it Tyreek Hill? I think that's his name. I'm bad with names. But that dude's just killing it. Just absolutely killing it. Good for him. No, Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt, that's who it is. My bad. Uh, Kareem Hunt. That's who's killing it. Good job by the rookie. He had that one fumble against the Patriots at the very beginning, and everybody's like, oh, no. And then he's just gone on, gone off ever since. So, good for him. Sunday night game's going to be... That's the Sunday night game? The Raiders at the Redskins? Interesting. Uh, I'm going to go with Oakland in that game. Oakland looks like they're rocking. Marshawn Lynch brought some swagger to the team. Derek Carr looks good. Everybody looks relaxed. Crabtree's going off. You know, uh, not in love with their defense, but, you know, uh, it's Washington, and I think that they will handle them despite being on the road. I'm going to pick Oakland there. And the Monday night game is the Dallas Cowboys and the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Arizona Cardinals are, I agree with, uh, I think Colin Cowherd's been saying it recently, that Arizona's in rebuilding mode despite the fact that they – Refuse to admit that they're in rebuilding mode. But they are. Listen, I grew up in Tucson, Arizona. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I know a lot of Cardinal fans. And uh, they're not happy with Carson Palmer. Like, not even a little bit. (laughs) So, 
yeah basically that is gonna be it my my picks dallas uh i know that they lost to the broncos pretty badly last week like they were they were handled last week but i think they're gonna bounce back despite being on the road and i think that arizona is just not equipped to deal with that team so i am gonna go with the dallas cowboys in that game so to run back through my picks one more time I picked the LA Rams over the San Francisco 49ers on tonight. Uh, Baltimore Ravens over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Denver Broncos over the Buffalo Bills. The New Orleans, uh, the New Orleans Saints. I have losing to the Carolina Panthers. I have the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Chicago Bears. I have the Detroit Lions beating the Atlanta Falcons. I have the Cleveland Browns beating the Indianapolis Colts. I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeating the Minnesota Vikings. I have the New England Patriots beating the Houston Texans. I have the Miami Dolphins defeating the New York Jets. I have the Philadelphia Eagles beating the New York Giants. I have the Tennessee Titans beating the Seattle Seahawks. I have the Green Bay Packers defeating the Cincinnati Bengals. I have the Kansas City Chiefs beating the LA Chargers. I have the Oakland Raiders beating the Washington Redskins. And finally, on the Monday night game, I have the Dallas Cowboys defeating the Arizona Cardinals. Those are going to be my week three picks for the NFL. Uh, I am Brian Brindley. This is the Brian Brindley Podcast. And I will see you next week where we'll talk about where I was right, where I was wrong, and who I'm picking next week. Thank you very much.